Have you ever stared at your fridge wondering what to cook only to give up and decide to just go eat out? Yes. Here to inspire you with three healthy and delicious recipes is the author of Food, What the Heck Should I Cook? Please welcome Dr. Mark Hyman to the show. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome, thank good you. doctor. Thank you, thank you. So what was the inspiration, first and foremost, behind the book? Well, you know, everybody's got nutrition whiplash. The diet wars are killing us. One day, eggs are bad, then they're good, then they're bad. <laughs> when they meat it's good, then it's bad. So I created a concept called the Pegan Diet, which is sort of a joke about paleo and vegan, and like, you know, let's just kind of include real, whole, healthy ingredients that are quality ingredients to help end the confusion and to sort of make it simple for people. Cooking, we're told, is hard, it's expensive, it's difficult, it takes too much time. None of that's true. It can be simple, delicious, and easy. Make Focusing amazing on food. real food. Real food. All right, so what do we have today? I see three different well, things we, going on we here. Have, what, what's this? We have a, a, a take on an Israeli dish called green shakshuka, which is uh, basically leeks and kale. Kale is one of the most nutrient-dense foods. It helps you detoxify. It's full of folate, magnesium, minerals. And we're going to basically make a sort of egg dish here. We're gonna take coconut milk instead all of right. dairy, and the coconut milk has MCT oil. It has all kinds of great ingredients in there. It helps your metabolism. And then, Travis, you have a hard job. You're gonna to have to take the eggs and crack four little eggs in a nice circle all around here. Oh boy. Make Can sure you do that? Nice. We'll see. Doc. No shells, no shells. Okay, he did a good job, no shells. One for right. one, and then you're just gonna let this And then you let it cook. hang out for how yeah. long? And you let it cook for 10, 15 minutes. You put it in the oven for at 350 for about 10, 15 minutes, and it sort of bakes, and it all gets nice and solid, and the eggs And Drew, so kind of a baked up. egg, it's not a, it's a like, egg. Yeah, it's a baked egg. Hey, Drew, dig in there, buddy. Dish. Yeah. Try one of those, Drew. All right. There you go. Luckily, the beauty of TV is we already have pre-prepared, so. Magic, right? <laughs> That's good. And then we have another amazing recipe, which is. Really nice. A special salad with chicken made with special spices that is incredibly powerful antioxidant. It's called sumac. It's an unusual spice, sort of Middle Eastern, <clears throat> and you marinate it in uh, olive oil, and you put the sumac in there, onions, and let it soak for half a day, and then you, you put it in the, in the pan, roast it for 20 minutes in the oven, and then you have this beautiful salad, and there's great ingredients. First, you take the arugula, and arugula is a green that has got more calcium per cup than a glass of milk. We love arugula. Sorry, yeah. I, you gotta keep that away from Drew. <laughs> Drew that's, loves that's arugula. That's better than Popeye right. food. He oh, loves it's arugula. It's a, this is a super food right here. It's full of minerals, folate, all kinds of stuff, detoxifying stuff. And then you got hazelnuts, which is sort of like the olive oil of nuts. It's like a lot of monounsaturated fats, lots of minerals, and it's great food. Lentils are a great source of fiber, protein, and uh, iron, and uh, they actually have just a wonderful little crunchy nut flavor. Love lentils. And then you take the chicken uh, once it's been cooked and you just slide it on there. Throw, I'm like, you know, whatever. And Travis, here's the done deal. And then you have this beautiful salad. Thank you, good doctor. And it's nice and red with the sumac and gives us, it's like basically the most powerful antioxidant salad you could have. How's that, good? Quite good. And then, and then of course, there's no suffering when you eat real food. You can have real food, but we do a twist on it. So you get, you want cupcakes? You can get cupcakes, you can get cream, Frosted Wait, we have dessert? cupcakes. Yes, we have dessert. <laughs> Come so, to daddy. Come on. So, <laughs> Come on. All right, here you go. You get one. And uh, you can start in on it while I'm talking. How about you? You can get one too. Thank you. Wash the chicken down. So what, these are our flourless cupcakes. There's no dairy. There's no eggs. It's made from <clears throat> carrots, walnuts, dates, and coconut. And those are all full of powerful uh, healing fats, uh, good sugars. And then we put spices in. The spices literally are medicine. So. Uh, we have nutmeg, which is a great antioxidant. We have cinnamon, which helps your blood sugar. We have ginger, which is an anti-inflammatory spice. And then the cream is actually a trick. It's made from cashews. So you get cashew and coconut cream, and you put it in the blender, and it creates this really creamy That really thing. is creamy. It really is creamy. And is, is there suffering here? Are you no, suffering? I, and I one of the great things, I can actually taste the spices, and that's one of the great things mm. when oh you use God. spices the versus fiber too much there. sugar. And these aren't cooked. You don't have to bake them. So you're ready, like... Instant gratification, they don't take long. What are they called? Carrot mini cupcakes with creamy frosting. Mark's carrot mini cupcakes <laughs> with Pretty creamy much. frosting. Just call them cupcakes. Great stuff. Everyone in the audience is going home with a copy of Dr. Hyman's new cookbook, Food, What the Heck Should I Cook? Thanks, Dr. Hyman, for being here. Appreciate it. You're going to have all these recipes and more at our website, thedoctorstv.com.